I like the rubber band square thing. It reminds me a lot of my childhood playing with like rubber band guns, seeing all the floors covered in those things. So the installation I really liked was the video with the conveyor belt where all the found objects kept going by. I thought it was just like this really random, it was seemed really random, but at the same time if you've ever gone through somebody's basement in a house that they've been living in for decades, you get the same thing. This really weird collection of stuff basically that's just somehow made its way into that person's life. I just thought it was kind of a really interesting look at how objects just like have a hold on us that we have this like desire to collect them and sometimes there's a story attached and sometimes there isn't. That exhibition reminded me of the moment that when I was little I was so bad at using chopsticks. My parents scolded me for that because there's the Korean belief that if you are not good at chopsticks, your luck will run away from you. The part that got me the most was the uh, the rabbit decaying over a time lapse and uh, each stayed fresh. I just found that one to be the one that moved me the most. I walked in there the first time. I, really c I couldn't stay in there very long because it got worse and worse uh, for myself. I just felt like there were bugs on me and then I left and then I came back and saw it again. Each time I watched it, it moved me different ways. It was a really, really good experience. Um, the experience from whole exhibit was actually really um, inspiring and new for me. How common things we found in life becomes one of the art form was very new for me. And I also love art pieces of Brad Phillips. Um, I really loved his painting, how it was really neat and clean, but also very tone-wise. Everything was really new and inspiring for me. It was a good experience.